Hello everyone, it's Andre from SWL. This little radio really has the shortwave world a buzz. It's tiny, it's absolutely tiny. It doesn't even have a real name. It's just called the SI4732 pocket radio or micro radio. It's possibly, in my opinion, the cheapest way to get into the full shortwave listening experience. Because you've got the regular shortwave broadcasting bands, but it also has SSB. So you can listen to utility signals, to number stations, all kinds of other stations. And all of that for around $21. I got mine from AliExpress for $21. It's available now quite widely. There was a time when there was a shortage of stock because it was so popular when it was released initially. But now you can find it quite easily. Prices do differ quite widely, so I suggest that you really look around. AliExpress has the best prices by far, and my experience on AliExpress has always been excellent. Shipping is very fast, and the products arrive quickly and safely. Because I've seen this on Amazon and eBay for $40 and even more, but you can get it for about $21. And for that price, there's nothing else. I mean, how can you get into SSP listening at just $21? It's... A very, very small package. It comes with two types of antennas. I got the telescopic antenna. Uh, sometimes you get that donut, that, that ring an antenna. So in this video, I'm just going to open it up quickly. There's not much in the box. As you can see, the box also, there's no decoration, nothing. <laughs> that saves money, obviously. Just there are made in China and some codes. And then it says 0 0.5 to 108 megahertz coverage. So that's what it is. Let's have a look. Very little inside. There is a little manual. I've not even opened the manual yet. Well, I wouldn't call it a manual. It's like a pamphlet with a little bit of a description of some of the functions. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. And then there's a very basic how to use mini radio, some of coverage information, charge at first, antenna, not much. This looks like quite okay English. Uh, I'm just scanning it quickly. Please charge first, switch it on, turn on the switch button, turn on the on switch, I suppose. And the menu page, yeah, just a little bit of information. You can also upgrade the firmware on this one. So inside we've got a USB type C cable here. Yeah, we've got this USB type C cable, which is for your charging. And then there is a telescopic antenna, which is included. And then your radio. Absolutely tiny. Let's compare. You see, here I've got the Retekes, how small it is in comparison to the Retekes. Very, very small radio. This is the perfect spy radio. <laughs> it's actually quite fun. If you listen to SSP, you listen to number stations, you can feel like a spy when you are doing it with this tiny little radio. And compared to the XH data, D220, as you can see also, tiny, tiny radio, really tiny. Now, if you think about it, this one, the XH data D220 is about $12 these days. This one is $21. And just compare what you get. This is a nice radio, the D220. Oh, of course, it's a, it's a fun radio to play with. It's very sensitive. But on this one, you just get so much more coverage for double the price. It's incredible. I think that just, it's really amazing what you can get for that price. This one is 3D printed, of course, the case. The only name I can see on it there, you can see it says radio. <laughs> no name or nothing, just radio. And let's just compare it to a bigger size radio. If we have the XH data D808, and this one again, absolutely tiny, very small radio. But that's part of the fun, I think. And more part of the fun is that everything is controlled with this one single knob, everything. And I've had a look at some videos. It's actually quite easy to operate. I'll show you now when I switch it on. And then there's only one other switch, which is here on the side. Switch it on. So let's do that. A little bit of a message first. And there's our screen. Just look at the colors on this thing. This is high definition, full color. Really, really 
incredible actually what you get so everything is done with this knob you need to press it to go into the menu and then you select your band and you can do lots and lots of other changes to the settings so it's a real full cover radio there's this plastic screen on top it looks like let me remove this i'm not one who likes to keep these screens so i'll take that off or this cover i mean these plastic covers so if we press this we will go into the menu as you can see there is the menu it shows you there at the top there are 15 menu options as you turn around let me just click it again as you can see there i'm now in number three of 15 so the band obviously is number one of 15 that's just to give you an idea of where you are in the menu right and then you have mode which is where you can select uh, am mode you can select ssb mode and then we have volume steps bandwidth mute function that's automatic gain control soft mute that's cool you can probably turn the soft mute on and off abc spare one i'm not sure what that is this is an automatic seek function going up and down as you can see you can calibrate it that's your screen brightness spare two i'm not sure what that is exactly so what we will do is i'm going to look at a couple of bands just going to do a very very quick scan to see what it can do and then in the next weeks i will do some more tests with this radio so let's select first the medium wave band which is where i am already band medium wave one two or three now the steps as you can see on this one is for the north american medium wave band the 10 kilohertz steps as i will turn so i will select nine kilohertz just press again there i saw the step there is the step i want nine kilohertz press it there we go now there we go now i have nine kilohertz steps but <laughs> it selected nine kilohertz on 700 as i was there so i need to actually change the selection so that it works for the correct nine kilohertz steps so yeah i noticed i would first need to go i think using the one kilohertz step to go something like 702 which would be a correct frequency and then select nine kilohertz so there we go 702 is a local frequency here now let me change it to nine kilohertz and then it should work for medium wave so there we go yeah now it's working correctly so this one obviously there's no ferrite antenna inside you need to connect an antenna it's got this telescopic antenna that it comes with for my medium wave scan i'm going to use my mla 30 plus and also for short wave and then for fm we can use this supplied telescopic work so i will connect my mla 30 plus let me just power it up i have one sma to sma cable which we can just apply here oh the sound already comes it's picking up that station in this video i'm just going to use the little internal speaker which is there at the back there you can see it tiny but let's see what it sounds like so i am on 702 this is alim radio and let's just turn up the volume here's our volume turn it up this is a local station in johannesburg Okay, this is Radio Pulpit first, it's a local station. It is a little bit of a hassle that you need to every time play, press this button, this knob, to change functions, like even the volume. So every time I want to talk to you, I need to press this first, find the volume, turn down, and then talk. So let's look for 639, which is Radio Lesotho. That's about 350 kilometers from me. It's about 220 miles or so. That's on 639. Here it is. Okay. 
So for medium wave during daytime, that's pretty much what I will get now here at my location. I see there at the top, you can actually set the time as well. I haven't done that yet. And there is a signal strength indicator there at the bottom. Lots of functions on this radio. Now let's look at shortwave. I'm going to go to the 90 meter band. Usually during the daytime, I will be able to pick up some signals there. The time here now is about 15.30 my local time. That is about 13.30 UTC. So let's find the 19 meter band. Go back here, we go to band. VHF, that's all, I suppose. You can go through all the bands. There's VHF, there's the 10 meter band. It's got SSB. For the ham bands, it automatically activates the SSB. I can see that. But you can activate SSB even in the other bands when you are there. So there we are, shortwave 7. This is the 19 meter band. I'm going to scan through it without talking and then I will just add some captions so you, to explain to you what the stations are. This is actually really quite good. Remember the sound quality that you hear now is maybe not the best, but it's because I'm showing you with this tiny built-in speaker there. If you connect this to an external speaker, I think the sound would be much better also for recording. 
And in my future tests, I will use an external recorder as I always do, so that you can hear the signals more clearly. But for this initial video, I'm just showing you what it sounds like on its own little speaker. So the last thing, let's just have a quick look at FM. For FM, I will use the supplied telescopic whip antenna. Are you planning your 2025 travels? Then make your dreams come true with World Leisure Holidays. From the beaches of Mauritius. <laughs> Well, this is quite incredible for FM. As you can see there, it's got RDS. It displays the station name. It shows you when it's in stereo. So obviously with stereo headphones, you'll hear that in stereo. Good FM reception. The first signal I showed you was Radio Pretoria. That's my usual check. It's from 50 kilometers away, so not a local station. The other two are here in Johannesburg. What an impressive little radio. $21 and you get all of that. This color screen, I mean, it's just incredible. The reception is for this tiny little thing, very good. We had good shortwave reception, good medium wave reception. FM is very, very good. Picks up my usual distance station check. This is an incredible radio. I'm really, really impressed. And so tiny. This is a little thing that you can take with you anywhere. So keep checking out my channel. I will make more videos about this one. I'm very impressed. I'm really, really impressed. For $21, this little thing is a lot of fun. Andre the man from a land so wide.